Good morning, dear pupils. Let's start our English lesson. Our lesson theme is health. We keep fit and healthy. Today we will use topic related vocabulary in your speech. Understand the meaning of the text and pick out the details. Also, you will give your advices to each other, give your opinions and ideas. At first, look at this table with letters. In Paris, you should use vocabulary related to topic health and fill this table with many words as you can. Now think and answer the questions about your daily activities. How do you go to school? How long do you sit in front of the TV each day? Do you play a lot of computer games? Do you play any sports? Which ones? And how often? Dear pupils, please write on a sheet of paper about what do you do every day and see your daily activities are healthy or not. I give you two minutes. Look at the example and write down. Today we have new words. Please open your vocabularies and write down. To keep fit, dini bitamin saktau. Unfit, sharamsis. To be healthy, dini saubulu. Unhealthy, dini saulukaziyande. Now, repeat after me, please, three times. To keep fit, unfit. To be healthy, unhealthy. Now I give you copies of the reading Stella's daily activities. You should read the text and understand its meanings. Now I put you questions and you should answer them. Are you like Stella? Do you do the same activities like she? What activities do you do? Compare ways to go to school. Discuss which ways are more healthy. Which of Stella's activities are best for her health? Which are worst? And explain why. Now please divide into two groups. Group number one should scan the text again and find activities that Stella keep fit. Group number two Elsa should scan this text and find out what Stella does that does not help her keep fit. Then write your answers on the board in the chair that below. Now you can see modal verbs should and shouldn't. Please watch the video. We've got a story you should listen to. Listen for should, should've and had better in this story. Try to notice which modal is in the past and which modals are in the present. Earlier today, Sarah had a headache, so she took a nap. But when she woke up, her head still hurt. She should have taken some medicine before she took a nap. Now she also has a sore throat and a fever. She should drink tea for her sore throat. And because she has a fever, she'd better go to the doctor soon. Otherwise, her health might get worse. We use should and had better to give advice in the present, and we use should have to give advice in the past. 
Should is a modal verb, and had better is a semi-modal verb. They don't change form, and they are followed by another verb. Sarah has the flu. She should rest. Marco is a great musician. He should join the school band. Notice that should, rest, and join don't take the third person singular s. We use had better when we think that there will be negative consequences if someone doesn't follow our advice. In spoken American English, we often use the contracted form. He'd better take the medicine or he won't get well. He'd better do his homework or he'll fail the class. Notice that take and do don't change form to agree with he. For advice in the past, we use should have. Should have doesn't change form and it is followed by the past participle of a verb. She should have gone to the doctor before her fever got worse. The cake at the party yesterday was delicious. Lucy didn't eat any. She should have tried it. Notice that should and have don't change form to agree with she. You should work in pairs. And now talk about Stella. About Stella. And tell what is good for her. And you should use topical vocabulary to give her advice. Now I give you a sheet of paper with formative assessment task. It consists of three tasks. A. Mark the sentence true or false. Highlight or underline the sentences in the text to justify all your choices. B. Mark the sentences according to the text. C. Ask questions for the answers given. Our feedback. You should to give yourself marks. I was productive at the lesson from 1 to 5 marks. My group mates were active from 1 to 5 marks and my ideas were useful from 1 to 5 marks. I give you 2 minutes. Please complete. Homework. You should prepare a poster with your activities, daily activities, and be ready to present on the next lesson. Okay, peoples, the lesson is over. Goodbye.